بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مذل له ومن يذلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هج محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Today is the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah, the day of sacrifice. And this is the last of the greatest days of the dunya. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned, Afdalu ayyam al-dunya ayyam al-ashram. That the best days in the life of this world are the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. And today is the last of those days. And it is upon us to be mindful and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all that He has given us. For this is the description of the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam for the rituals of Hajj and the slaughtering on the day of Eid. This is from that which was practiced by the Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Allah Azza wa Jalla, He mentions about the Prophet Ibrahim, Inna Ibrahim kana ummatan qalitan lillah, hanifan wa lam yaku minan mushrikin, shakiran li an'umihi. Allah Azza wa Jalla, He says, Indeed, the Prophet Ibrahim, He is a leader and an example for the mankind. And he was one who was devout to Allah. And he was one who worshipped Allah alone. And he was not from amongst those who worshipped other than Allah. And he was one who was grateful for the bounties that Allah bestowed upon him. These are the characteristics that we should adorn ourselves with. Number one, in following the way of the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, we should be examples for mankind. Examples of good, examples of honesty, examples of integrity, not individuals who set a bad precedence, an example for the people, not individuals who make Islam look bad due to their bad behavior in this conduct. The Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was a man who was upright, Allah Azza wa Jalla described him as being qanitan lillah, one who was devout to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he put Allah Azza wa Jalla first in his affairs. And this is seen when Allah Azza wa Jalla tested him, ordering him to slaughter his son and sacrifice his son. But it was only a test. And Ibrahim alayhi salam, he went to carry out the commandment of Allah and Allah Azza wa Jalla replaced the sun with a ram. And here, Barakallahu Fikum was a test of the integrity and dedication of Ibrahim alayhi salam. 
and he proved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he was a man who was dedicated to worshipping Allah and was willing to sacrifice for the sake of Allah. Ibrahim alayhi salam was described as being one who was a man of faith, one who worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And Ibrahim alayhi salam, he did not associate any partners with Allah. And this is the purpose of creation. As Allah Azza wa Jal mentions, وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجَنَّةِ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ And I have not created the jinn nor the mankind except to worship me. Don't forget your purpose in life, my brothers and sisters. The life of this world is temporary, and we will have to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal lastly described Ibrahim alayhi salam as being one who was grateful. Grateful for the bounties of Allah. And this is a day when we show our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Acknowledging the favors of Allah with our hearts. Acknowledging the favors of Allah with our tongues. And worshiping Allah as a wajal, showing our gratitude to Him with our body parts. To kumbal Allah minna wa minkum. Wa subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka.